Hi, this is Rue. Welcome to the Slash Gear Weekly Roundup. Kicking off our list this week at number 10 is our April Fool's Tech Roundup. This past Friday, the tech industry was full of fun and pranks. Google joked around with a video for Gmail Motion, a fake beta email system that lets you navigate your inbox with various gestures. Hulu turned retro. 1996 to be exact, with a GeoCities front page featuring X-Files in a Netscape icon. YouTube looked back at 100 years of online video streaming with the top 5 viral videos of the year 1911. And Toshiba released a spoof commercial for 3D monocles. There were many more hijinks listed on our April Fool's Tech Roundup, so go check out the full article on SlashGear.com. At number 9, Google and CNN got into a spat over CNN's report that Google is developing a facial recognition app. The app could identify people from photos found on the web and access their personal information. Google sent out an aggressive response saying the CNN report was false and purely speculative. And they have no plans to add such a feature without a strong privacy policy in place. However, CNN shot back saying that they stand firm on their report and that it came from a pre-arranged interview with a Google engineer along with a Google PR rep. Google has gotten in trouble before on privacy issues, which may explain their strong reaction to CNN's report. And at number 8, we have more Google news with the launch of their Plus One feature. It is Google's version of Facebook's Like button. It will initially show up only on the search results page, where you can click on the Plus One button to recommend a link to your friends. Google will eventually roll out the plus one button for embedding on websites as well. Number seven on our countdown will kick off a couple of HTC related news. The company announced a press event in the UK for April 12th to unveil some new devices that could include the HTC Pyramid and the European version of the HTC Evo 3D. Next, we have an in-depth review of the HTC Arrive, which is Sprint's first Windows Phone 7 device. It features a slide-out QWERTY keyboard, a tilting screen, and a solid build, but lacks on camera quality and 4G WiMAX support. We also have an in-depth review of the HTC Desire S Android smartphone. It features a 3.7-inch touchscreen display with a unibody design and a front-facing camera for video calls. However, it still runs on a single-core processor and doesn't quite push the boundaries like its predecessor. Overall, it is a solid mid-range phone. And at number 4 is our in-depth review of the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play smartphone, designed for PlayStation gaming. The device features a slide-out gaming keypad behind a 4-inch touchscreen and has a VGA front camera and a 5-megapixel back camera. Once again, check out the full review and hands-on video on SlashGear.com. And at number 3, our very own Chris Davies shared with us an excellent opinion piece on the iPad 2. Make sure to check out the full article titled iPad 2 – A Skeptic's Review. And at number two is the official launch event of the Asus ePad Transformer. It is an Android 3.0 honeycomb tablet featuring a unique keyboard dock that also extends battery life. Slash Gear's Chris Davies was at the launch event in London and gave his first impressions on the device along with plenty of images and a hands-on video. The tablet will be available starting April 6th in the UK with a starting price of 379 euros. Pricing and a launch date for the U.S. are not yet confirmed, although Best Buy did list the device on their website for 400 U.S. dollars, but then they quickly pulled the ad. We'll keep you updated as we get more information. At number one this week is Google's push for anti-fragmentation of its Android platform. It's causing quite a stir as many fear that this move goes against Google's open source strategy and will inhibit innovation of the platform. Well, others feel that this will make for a more standardized and user-friendly platform. 
Take a look at the full article on SlashGear.com and let us know what you think of the situation. That wraps it up this week for our Slash Gear Weekly Roundup. I want to take this time to thank everyone for watching and leaving comments. This is video number six for us and I know we still have many things to work on. This is an ever-evolving project for us and we really want to make it something of value for you, our viewers. So we truly appreciate your feedback and we'll try our best to implement what we can. Make sure to check back with us every Sunday. This is Rue with Slash Gear. We'll see you next time. Bat over CNN's root. See CNN. It's hard to say. CNN. Two ends.